How one idea led to cars. What if I told you your car exists today because of a kettle? Yup, meet James Watt. Around 1740, as a kid, James Watt watched steam lift the lid of a kettle and thought steam has power. Years later, while fixing an old steam engine, he noticed it wasted heat by constantly cooling and reheating. So he added a separate condenser to trap the steam more efficiently. Not to power a car, but to pump a water out of mines. That one tweak kick started the industrial revolution, and suddenly steam could power factories, trains, and ships. The world moved faster than ever before. Then someone said, what if we could make it move? In 1814, George Stevenson builds Blucher, a working steam locomotive. It wasn't a fast, but it worked, and it turned steam power into transportation. For the first time, trains can carry people and goods quickly across the country. Then in 1885, everything changed. Carl Benz builds the first gasoline-powered car, the Benz Patent Motor Wagon. A first practical automobile, it wasn't built for factories and railways, it was built for people. A new kind of freedom, personal, private, powered by combustion engine. The world moved from steam to streets. After that, the rest is the history parked outside the house. Subscribe for more knowledge.